probably start in about five minutes. You should be hearing music, and hopefully you're hearing my voice. If you're hearing my voice, go ahead and uh, get into that back channel, tinyurl.com forward slash end of year press. End of year press is in capital letters. And let me know in the little chat there if you're hearing my voice as well as the music. Thanks. We've started in a couple of minutes. If you're hearing me, uh, you should be hearing some music in the background. You should be able to hear me as well. Go ahead and uh, head on over to, to the back channel. That's where you can ask me questions while I'm doing the presentation. tinyurl.com forward slash end of year press. End of year press is in capitals. You should see a back channel chat where you can say hi. Just to make sure, let me know if you're hearing my voice and if you're hearing the music as well.
All right, everybody, we're about to start here. Make sure you join our back channel chat at tinyurl.com forward slash end of year press. Alright, we're about to start. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you uh, step into the back channel uh, to ask questions. That is at tinyurl.com forward slash end of year press. End of year press is in capital letters. Let's go ahead and get started with how to create your end of year movie with Animal. Hello everyone, my name is Jesus Morales and I work with Instructional Technology at EPISD. I'm going to be doing three videos today, three live sessions. These will be recorded in YouTube, so the link that you're actually joining <clears throat> and viewing in. All right, awesome, Sonia, thank you for letting me know you can hear me. Uh, the link that uh, you click to view, that should be the same link to watch the recording in case you wanna share that uh, with anybody that you think might be interested in using this program. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, Animoto. It's been around for a long time. I started using it back in 2010, so it's been a while. It's been around for a long while. And so I wanna show you what this looks like. There has been some changes since I've used it last in 2012. I was uh, looking that stuff up. There used to be an educator account. Uh, it seems like, um, and, and you would have the, the free options and all that because Animoto is, is a paid program. And it's still a paid program, except uh, they do have a free version, which encompasses everybody, students, teachers, general public, you name it. So let's go ahead and switch over to, <clears throat> I'm sorry if you can hear the. You shouldn't be hearing an echo, I hope. I've turned down my mic, uh, my volume, so you don't hear the echo. Let me know if you can hear, you can still hear an echo, Sonia, so I can see what I can do about that. And anybody else who hasn't joined the back channel chat, tinyurl.com forward slash end of year press. End of year press is in capital letters. There might have been a little echo in the transition from the uh, Animoto banner to the live camera shot that you're seeing right now. So hopefully you're not seeing that echo. Um, let me check my mic settings really quick. Make sure I'm only using one microphone. Yep, it's my one microphone. Sorry about that. Let me turn that down a little bit. All right, so uh, I'm not going to be on this screen for so for long. Here we go. We're going to transition over to my cr uh, Chrome browser.
and here it is this is the website it's called animoto.com I'm gonna zoom in hopefully this will work on the live view but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to the website very simple animoto.com you should be seeing that with no problem whatsoever okay animoto.com very simple website to, re to remember and you can sign up you can create an account but I'm going to tell you, you can sign up with, with a personal email if you like, but I'm going to tell you that you can click on the login link up here on the top right, and you can log in with Google. So your EPISD email, as you have probably know by now, was uh, also added to the Google system, so the Google account. So your actually EPISD email is a Google account. So that's a pretty neat thing. So if you didn't know that, I hope you know that now and uh, so I can click on Google the Google link there and then I can go ahead and enter my EPISD email so I already have it I've already been using it and I do have a um, Animoto account from way in the day back in the day but uh, it does link my accounts and to remember so these are some of the movies that I've created over the years so like I said back in 2010 uh, I used this a lot I used it again in 2012. Um, re last time I used it was in 2013 when we did some gingerbread houses in our uh, in my first grade class, and then uh, recently used it in 2016 for a training, I believe over at Bonham Elementary. But uh, I haven't used it in uh, in a while. Uh, I use other things now like Keynote, and it's easy to to create movies in Keynote, and I'll show you how to do that in the in the session later on today. But um, let me go ahead and show you what uh, how you can create now when you first log into Animoto when you first log in when you first sign up you're gonna see a, a different page I like this page right here I, there's some other templates and formats that you can actually see but uh, I like this one I like this one right here um, I, I go to my videos so when I log in the first thing I do is go to my videos and it gives me this page right here yours is probably going to be blank anyways if you've never used this before but I go ahead and click on create and I do get some templates here I get the option to create a memory or create marketing so Animoto is used a lot in business so I'm actually going to create a memory for my end of year movie so it gives you some featured styles. So we have the woodlands, we have some accolade style right here. And if you hover over it, you will see that it'll start playing what the transition of the movie will look like. There's various styles here that uh, are available that are popular. You can also choose school if you like. And these are some of the school uh, styles that you have. Uh, you have the accolades. I've used this back to school before for my students um, when we did our first project of the year. There's this nice carousel like the old uh, film uh, script carousel type and so many of the others. Here's a senior year. Now some of these do say premium as this one. There is a there is pricing uh, that goes along with that. But um, you know the free version works fine just for me, a, a free version just works fine. If you click all, then you'll see all the different styles that Animoto has to offer. The Animoto original, can't go wrong with that one either. Any one of these that you use that's gonna have the Animoto watermark. So uh, just so you know, it's gonna say Animoto at the end. It's gonna have a nice little slide for the Animoto watermark. So any ones that you use will have that. So one of the ones that I like to use a lot, especially for this type of uh, movie and maybe a presentation when I go back to popular I like to use either the air which is really nice or I like to use the memory box I'm gonna go ahead and use the memory box and show you how that works so when I use it introduces I'm gonna raise this up so you can hear the sound so it introdu introduces the, the style for you and it also introduces the music that is chosen so there is music that you can actually insert into your uh, movie so I'm gonna click create video I think there's over 300 plus free music um, titles 
if you if you're in the free account there's a lot more obviously if you're paying for the service so it's a simple start you've already chosen the style over here on the left you won't be able to add a logo unless you pay for that so if you wanted to put like your school mascot you would actually have to have the business plan for that so no logo in this freestyle this is where you can add uh, pictures and videos but you can also do it from here yes you can add videos not you know superly long videos but little captures of uh, things that kids are doing in class so have you ever catch captured them doing something in science lab or doing something in art or music short little clips that you wanted to add as part of this presentation you can definitely add it you can also add text and I'm actually going to do that I'm going to add some text uh, up at the top you can change the song so right now wave goodbye is a song when I click on that it gives me the popular uh, top songs for this style wave goodbye is the first one then we have goodbye once open road and making memories if I want to view the rest of these songs that are available in the free plan then I click on browse library the browse the full library down here when I do that I have these categories over here on the left and obviously uh, I'm gonna choose education but you can choose whatever you like there's a lot of songs 300 plus songs you could spend the whole day looking for songs but I like there is a song that I like uh, as I was looking through the education category and believe me there are these two pages of songs so at least 20 40 songs in the education category beautiful being that's one of the songs that I like for this specific um, type of show plus I guess it, the current situation that we're in not being able to see each other except virtually so when I play this that's what it sounds like okay so I like that song so I'm gonna go ahead and use that song uh, I've just I s click it to select it and I click select song up at the top and you see that the song has now been changed to beautiful being Lord running uh, song before I continue with before I add text or pictures up on the top left we do see some options I see uh, the sizes that I can view my pictures my tiles I have the tile size I have the uh, medium size which is called uh, the it's not called anything I call it the medium size and then we have the full view full full view larger view of the tiles as I'm adding text and pictures I also have settings so when I click on settings I can title my movie so I'm gonna call this 1c 1d and of year movie I'm actually gonna add I should add the year 2019 2020 end of year movie I can change my name and I can add a date the date is optional and won't let you add any dates uh, in the future it'll let you add the current date and the dates before so um, it won't let you do that you might you should you should be able to come back in and change that setting the thumbnail I haven't added any pictures or text so I'm not gonna add a thumbnail but that's the first image that pops up when somebody clicks on the link or uh, opens the page where you've embedded your video and you can embed these videos and I'll show you how so I don't have anything on there so there is no thumbnail and I could do a description if I wanted to and uh, it is optional I'm gonna click save for now and leave that alone you'll notice one thing about the song the song I picked was six minutes and ten seconds if you go back to the song list you'll see on the right side you have the length you want to create at least uh, a three minute movie no longer than five minutes I wouldn't uh, have my students or parents sit through a five minute presentation although if you're doing a live presentation like in keynote and PowerPoint that might take a little while longer and I'll show you that but for this one a three minute movie is fine but pick a song that's longer than three minutes so I actually picked a six minute song and I'll show you how that can be adjusted to where it'll automatically fade out uh, in case you don't have six minutes worth of pictures or videos okay so I'm gonna go back here now I'm going to add some text so I do want to add a text title so I'm gonna say 2019 2020 and I clicked on T for text 
one C, one D, end of year, movie. I could have actually done one C, one D, end of year, movie. I think this will look better. And then I'll put the subtitle 2019, 2020. And I'll save that. And so here is my uh, first slide, which is a text slide. I'm going to change the side up, size up here at the top right to full. So it gives me a bigger uh, view right here of what that title is going to look like. Okay. When I click on settings wheel, all I can do is change the title. I, uh, I won't be able to add a background color or anything like that. But I can uh, spotlight this slide. And I'm going to do that because I want this to stand out. So when I spotlight something, here's the option here. It will give that slide more time in the video. So that's one of the things that I want to spotlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding uh, images, pictures. And I need to make sure that those pictures are on my computer. So they have to be on your computer or they have to be on a USB. Okay. So I'm going to click the plus sign to add pictures. And I could also add the text from here. So there is the T for text box. There's also the uh, picture icons for photos. So the photo icons there, the photo frames. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can upload from other places. I did say uh, only my computer. That is just the easiest place to do it from. But if you do have uh, some of uh, many moons ago, we used to use Dropbox. If you're still using Dropbox and you have your images there, you can definitely import your images from your Dropbox account. Okay, And you don't need to install the Dropbox app. You can do it from online. Also, if you have pictures on Instagram or Facebook, you can definitely bring them in there, for, uh, bring them in from there as well. But I'm going to upload them. Uh, Animoto free version and paid version has free stock photos so if, and videos. So if you wanted to find some fillers in between, you can definitely look at their free stock photos and videos to add some fillers in between. If you wanted that presentation to last longer than three minutes to last longer than five minutes, you could add some filler photos or videos from Animoto. But I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to go to upload and I have a folder on my desktop that is called Where's my desktop? There it is. That's called 1C1D Picture. So I'm going to open that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and view the icons. So I have these pictures here. First two things I have are class pictures. So I had a, a shared dual language with my partner, Mr. Sheft, Rick Sheft. If any of you know him, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add these two pictures for sure. And I'm going to click shift and click to select them both and click open. And so it's going to load those two pictures. And notice this picture is sideways. Mr. Chef's 1D class is sideways. So I'm going to click on it. And on the left side, I can actually rotate this. So if you had that issue where some of your images are sideways, you can definitely rotate them. Pretty simple. I'm going to spotlight those two as well because those are important pictures. I want those to last a little longer. I'm also going to go ahead and add some more pictures. So here we have some more. I'm going to click add photos and I'm going to click the photo icon. Upload again. And I'm going to select other pictures in. I'm just going to go ahead and select other pictures here. So I'm going to select these pictures. And I can't, normally you can do a shift and click at the end and select them all, but uh, in this specific screen you can't, so I'm just going to do shift click, shift click. You could also do command click, works the same way. Command click and you can go ahead, it's going to have the same effect. And add all the pictures, so I have some beginning of the year photos and I have some middle of the year photos and... Uh, Christmas photos. So I don't have any end of year um, photos. This is a very old class. This is from 20, 2008, 2009, I believe. So it's been a while since I've used this. And I'm sure I have end of year photos, field trips, stuff like that somewhere. I just could not find them uh, in time for this presentation. But I did find these. And I actually had these in my Dropbox that I used to use a long time ago. And I'm going to add this uh, logo, this polar bear logo, because that was our school mascot back in the day. So, and it's still the school mascot, just uh, that's the one that we had at the beginning. So, 
I'm going to click open and it's going to add all those pictures and it doesn't take that long but it will add all these pictures as you can see they're coming in and they're not in any specific order that's the thing and so the nice thing about this just like in PowerPoint and Keynote I can move these uh, slides I guess these images these pictures around so that I can place them in the right order and here I might actually do some shift uh, click to hide you know start click on one image and then click at the end of an, a set of a series and select them all so it will actually do it inside of Animoto it just didn't let me do it when I was choosing my images so here I go uh-huh here I go and it's loading it's almost done and I am keeping an eye on the back channel chat in case some of you have questions but I think this is pretty easy drop your pictures in it loads them okay showed you how to add, change the music the music comes with the style but definitely you can change the music so there are all my images I have my uh, images it looks like that's a Halloween image these are Christmas images they're gingerbread houses and the shield project was the first project we did and we we started with tell me about your family so it was your family crest pretty much so these should be at the beginning because I was early August or at least mid August and this Christmas one should be towards the end the Halloween should be somewhere in the middle so I'm gonna grab this Halloween one and move it down to the end of the shields and I just clicked and dragged and so there's my last shield over here on the right so I'm put in there and then I have Thanksgiving so there's their turkeys but then I also did we did a ginger house activity with the parents and the students so I'm gonna select these to move them down towards the bottom I'm gonna click on one go down to the last one which is this guy right here and I'm going to shift click to select them all. So I've selected all my uh, Christmas images, my uh, gingerbread house images. And I'm going to drag this first one, click and drag. And I'm going to move it. There's 14. It tells me there's 14. I'm going to move it here at the end before the polar bear. So now I've rearranged my images so they flow in a chronological order from beginning of the year to middle of the year and I know I have more pictures of them in their Halloween costumes and then um, Thanksgiving and Christmas and I have this polar bear but I want to put this polar bear uh, first of all I'm gonna spotlight it so again I can click on it and over here on the left I'm gonna spotlight it so it lasts a little longer but I'm gonna duplicate it I'm gonna make another copy of it I'm gonna move it to the top I want to I want to have this to be the second spotlighted uh, frame or picture okay so it's got the intro and I could swap these around I could put the bear first uh, you know and then have the intro title and then have the students so that's pretty much it I've created it and if I look over here on the right side I have enough images to fill two minutes and 41 seconds of a six minute and 10 second song hmm that's that might not be what I want I wanted to stretch out to fill out the whole song or at least make it shorter and I'm actually gonna make it shorter I want this video to be three minutes long because six minutes is way too much at least for me it is I don't think I could sit I mean I'm a, as a parent maybe I could sit and watch six minutes worth of photos but uh, I want to make it a little shorter. I want to make it a three minute video. I'm going to click on that gear and I'm going to change the pacing to auto. So I'm going to let the, the program decide the pacing for my images as they're popping up. But I also want to change the length of the song. I want to trim the song to three minutes. Now, if you have more images, if it tells you that you have uh, four minutes and 41 seconds worth of uh, pictures then you don't want to trim it down to three minutes because what happens is you're gonna lose some of those pictures they're gonna go to an extended area they're gonna get kicked out of your uh, presentation so if you have 441 four minutes and 41 seconds uh, worth of film of uh, images then you want to go ahead and make your song last at least five minutes right and it'll stretch it out so but I'm gonna make mine last three minutes because 
I have two minutes and 41 seconds worth of images as far as the program is concerned. So I'm going to make it last three and it's going to um, fade. It's going to fade the music uh, at the three minute mark so that, you know, it has a nice little transition at the end. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now you'll notice it doesn't say 240. It says fit. So it's going to fit my images to fit the song, the three minute song portion that I have selected. So it did that for me automatically just by selecting the slider there, by selecting the settings and changing that slider to trim the song to three minutes. Also by clicking on auto and it says here auto will space your images to fill your song. So that's what I want. If you had uh, gone shorter, if I had gone shorter than two minutes and 42 seconds, those ex it would have actually kicked some of those uh, images at the bottom over here to the side, which means that any of the Im images here won't appear in the video. So you want to be careful with how you fit the music to your images. If And you want to grab a longer song, so like mine is a six minute song, I want to grab a longer song instead. Okay, sorry about that. And uh, so I'm ready to preview my video. Now, here's the downfall to this program right here. It will create a video in 320 pixels, uh, which is quite low quality of pixels here. Um, optimum quality would be 720 at the, at the latest, but um, 320 is... Uh, Mm, quite low quality. If it's viewed on a smaller screen, it's not too bad. It's when we view it on a larger screen is when it's uh, when it's a little blurry. All right, so I'm going to preview the video. Sorry for the background noise. I am at home and life happens. So uh, here's the preview video. And when I do that, it's going to render a preview in about 15 seconds and it's going to show me what this is going to look like. So I'm going to turn up the volume so you can hear it and then you'll see it as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue editing there. You get a nice little view. It looks really nice. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you how you can actually up the uh, the upgrade the pixels. Uh, you'd have to pay for it, but you can upgrade it. And I've done that before where I don't want to pay for a subscription. I just want to pay for the specific video. Uh, it's going to cost you like 10 bucks, but that's that was 10 bucks worth for me to pay for that one specific video at the end of the year. I, I used to make a video, I used to make at least four videos a year, uh, you know, for Halloween, for uh, Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for end of the year, right, that's five. So I used to make at least four to five videos a year. That was 50 bucks I was dishing out a year, but it was well worth it for my parents. So here's my video. I'm ready to produce this, this video. Um, I could add a caption. Oh, I, one thing I didn't do is I could add a caption. And I could put the student's name here, or I could put uh, anything here really excited about his gingerbread house. Ah, if I could type. Okay. And it will actually show that in the movie. So I could definitely add a caption there for each one of these films. You can really spend some time, in, uh, time on this and, and make it look really nice. Okay. I'm doing a fast job on this but uh, you can definitely do that as well okay so here I am I'm gonna go ahead and produce this video I click produce up here on the top and again uh, I have I want to make sure my titles okay 
Uh, I want to make sure, you know, if I want to select the date, I can definitely do so. I'm going to go ahead and select today's date just to show you. I can select today's date, but I can't do any further like future dates. So this is the creation date. I can select today's or any date before that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not going to choose today's date, but you can. Your name, a description, um, and it says that you can upgrade the poll to remove the Animoto logo. I'm not. I'm okay with the logo. I have no problem with the logo. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish. I'm ready to roll. Oh, and let me go back to continue editing. One thing I forgot is to set the thumbnail. So in settings, now that I have my images in settings, I can actually set the thumbnail, the movie that will actually the image that will start the movie, and I can set it to be anything I want except for the text. Okay, so I can set it to be anything. I'm going to set it to be that polar bear. Okay, that's going to be my thumbnail. Let me go back now to produce. And when I click produce, you're going to see that my thumbnail is the cover image is the polar bear. I could click here. I could have just clicked there and then changed it, found the picture here and changed it to whatever I like, except for the title. So if you put any text, that will not be a cover image. So I'm still going to keep the polar bear. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. Everything's ready. I'm going to click on finish. This is going to take some time to render. So we'll let that go while I talk about some other things. So here's uh, the way I can share it. I can share it on Facebook. I, I can share it on Twitter. I can even share it if I have a YouTube account. I can copy the link and add it to my Schoology if I wanted to. Or I can embed the video in Schoology or a website. So I'm going to go to advanced option because embedding is the one thing that I like. I like embedding stuff so that uh, students, parents can get to it. It starts off in a small size. I might go large or extra large. I'm going to try extra large. The quality is not set because it's not finished rendering, but it is going to render to 320 pixels. Okay. So I'm going to save. It's done. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and embed. But before I embed, I'm going to click on download just to show you what the options that you have. You can, right now, it's in 360. I said 320, sorry. It is in 360 pixels. It's best viewed as a 640 by 360 size. That's kind of small. So if I wanted to view a better size and uh, better rendering, I would probably select... 720 and that's the only one that you can upgrade for with just a credit card the other one the 1080 you would have to upgrade your account which is which would cost you more so again i would fork over the ten dollars that was me i would pay the ten dollars and it would actually ask me for things like my account and you know my card and all that stuff my payment method all that stuff to upgrade this video now that means that i'll be able to download this video and then upload it to uh, my website or to Schoology. But I'm going to go ahead and share it the way it is. I'm going to change the size to 640 by 360 because that is the most optimal size for this type of video. And I'm going to click Save. I'm going to go over to Schoology really quick and show you how this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Schoology course. Here we go. And here's my course, my Math 2, 2D course right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hopefully it will open. There it is. Oh, my course is about to end. Ah, I think everybody's probably going to say the same thing. Here it is, and I'm going to delete this one just to show you the whole process because I've added a movie before. And I am going to add it as the first thing that's going to show on my course when the course opens because it's the last, it's the end of year movie. And you know, and I, I want it to be there. So above my welcome that I used when I started my virtual classes, I'm going to go above. In case you didn't know, there is a line up here. I could click add materials and add a page, which is what I'm going to do, but it would put it at the bottom. All it's always puts things at the bottom, but if I click on the line underneath add materials or any line in between like here or like here you can add things above 
the uh, whatever material is, is underneath it. So I'm gonna hover on the line here, click on it, and it gives me the add material options. Okay, it's almost like I clicked add materials. And I'm gonna add a page, just in case you didn't know that. You can add things above other materials that you've inserted. And I'm gonna select, I'm gonna call this my 1C1D, actually, end of year movie, Pelicula, Pelicula del Fin de Año. I'm sure I miss, I probably has an accent there somewhere. I forget where it's at. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the cursor there, it's blinking, then click on insert content, image media, from the web, and then media. When I do that, it adds this embed part to the link. And all I, have to, all I need to know is that I can copy and paste embed codes. So I went and copied it from Animoto, I am embedding it now, right here and I'm clicking on insert media. All right, so there it is. If I wanted to center this, I click to the right of it, see the blinking cursor. I go ahead and click center, and I am done centering my image. The other thing I want to do is make sure that I choose inline right now. It's on a new page. I want to choose display inline, so it shows up automatically, it pops open, when they come into my Schoology course. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. Okay. And now, there is the movie. Here it comes. Let me refresh that. Trust me, it works. I'm going to grab that code one more time. Just let me copy the clipboard. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to re enter that code. I might not have done that. I might have done that wrong, so I'm going to fix my error. I'm going to delete this. Again, insert image media from the web, media, paste insert I'm gonna click to the right click center make sure I'm in display inline make sure it's nice and colored to highlight it save changes there it is I must have not have selected the right and uh, notice that I selected that polar bear logo as my image so when I click play it'll start the movie right there I'm gonna mute this but it's, n it's nice, it's not too blurry. The images are old, so when we're talking 2008, um, and then I scanned, and so the scanners, this technology wasn't at its best back in those days yet. This is a 2011, so I scanned these images or I brought them in from an older camera or a very old phone, so the images are already not the best quality back then. But um, if I go full screen, this is where you kind of lose the resolution it's gonna look a little blurry there it is so you can still see the kiddos but you can see their older images uh, they're a little blurry that might not be the issue with your cameras now the iPads the phones so just think of that I do have older images here okay and that's pretty much it I have gone ahead and created this movie and embedded it in my uh, Schoology page. I could also download this film, okay, and insert it as a file. I could download and insert it as a file for parents to download and save, or I could grab the link because what's gonna happen is your courses are gonna archive, and uh, there is a session today with Chris Sherman where he's gonna show you how to transfer your materials over and create a course a new course for yourself for the summer if you wanted to save your materials. You don't have to create a new course, but he's going to show you how to save your course material so that you can use that same format and everything, folders and all that stuff, in your next course in August. But I could uh, grab that link. So I grabbed the link. I'm going to edit, and I'm going to publish. And I'm not going to publish. I'm going to paste that link right here. I'm going to paste. It's gonna, I'm gonna render the title, see if it grabs it. 
There it is, it actually grabbed the title for me. And I'm gonna click attach. So now they're gonna have two places. They can save the link uh, and so they can view it later because if your course gets archived there at the end of June, which I think is gonna happen, uh, hopefully not, we're still waiting to find out what's gonna happen. Uh, they can grab the link and I would tell parents, make sure you grab and favorite or save that link because when you click on the link, it's going to take you, that's gonna take the parents out to Animoto and they don't have to be registered. I'm still signed in because that's, I'm still signed in. But if I were signed out, <clears throat> then they could go ahead and it would actually open the movie. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign out just so you can see what happens. The parents do not need an account so the students don't need an account either. They can click on it and the movie will play. It won't have all the options obviously that I had to share, to download, to all that edit and all that stuff, but it will play the movie for them right here on the web. In case the Schoology course, <clears throat> your Schoology course gets archived, then they will, uh, I would let them know, hey, there's the link. Go ahead and grab that link and make sure you save it as a favorite so you have access to this later. And like I said, you could always download the video uh, as a 360, it's a small size, small enough to, for it to fit into Schoology because remember, um, the size can't be greater than 100 megabytes. I think this is only 29 to 30 megabytes, so it's small enough to fit as an attachment in Schoology so that they could download the movie if you wanted them to have access to download it at home, okay? So that's pretty much it for Animoto. I have uh, a couple of minutes, I'm gonna, uh, about 10 minutes, if anybody has any questions. I am checking the back channel chat. The address is still down there. Uh, submit your questions to the back channel at tinyurl.com forward slash end of year press. So if you still have some questions, I will gladly answer them. And we do have a couple of minutes before I switch over to my next presentation at nine o'clock, which at 10 o'clock, which will be how to create uh, end of year uh, presentation in PowerPoint. Yes, Sonia, that's a very good question. Yes, Mr. Sherman uh, should be showing you how to do both. He's going to show you how to archive, uh, not archive, how to save your course to your resources, to your library in Schoology. And uh, he should show you. And if he doesn't, if he's not doing it, ask him, you know, stop. You know, he, he always allows you to stop him in between and say, hey, can you show us how to create a new summer course? Because um, some teachers or, or parents are asking, if they could keep their courses open so students can keep practicing or viewing the books or whatever it is that you, information resources that you have given them. So yes, definitely ask him if, he's, if he doesn't bring it up. I know for sure he's gonna show you how to save all your, how to save your course to your resources so that you can access it later when you're gonna create a new course. So you pretty much have your, your shell, your course, and all you have to do is change dates and stuff if you added anything like that. Good question.
All right, you're very welcome, Sonia, and whoever's watching. I hope uh, you liked Animoto. I've used it for many. Uh, well, I used to use it for many years now. I do use other products now. I use um, Keynote PowerPoint. I use something called Camtasia, with which uh, my department purchased for us. It's not a free product, but there are so many things. iMovie. There are so many things out there now um, that will render. Uh, create movies if you needed to create a movie many of you are going to be doing live presentations starting tomorrow Thursday so the next two um, ones that I do next two sessions that I do at 10 and 11 are going to show you how to do it create a live presentation and even a movie if you wanted to in both PowerPoint and Keynote so be sure to join me at 10 o'clock so that you can see how to create uh, really neat presentations uh, with some really cool templates that I found and I'm going to show you the resource in PowerPoint and Keynote. If you're not able to join at those times, this should be recorded. It is in, uh, in, in our YouTube channel, so if you haven't joined our YouTube channel, please make sure you, uh, you do so. I sent you the link in the email. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's where we're going to be hosting a lot. We host a lot of videos there. Uh, and we, we host, uh, we're going to be hosting some of these live sessions there as well. Uh, we also have a film festival channel. So if you haven't seen our film festivals, we did do our film festivals uh, live last week. So you can view the recordings of the film festivals there as well. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'll see you at 10 o'clock if you're joining me for end of year presentations using PowerPoint.